As in every opportunity, it is a great pleasure to greet you. We will continue with the part of wireless networks that has had very good reception. In fact, this week, a good friend asked me about a specific tool, and I decided to make a video about a tool called Kismet. Kismet is a graphical tool that allows us to see, well, everything that is happening at the level of wireless networks in the near environment in which we find ourselves. Then it is very practical. For this exercise, we need a wireless network card. I'm going to use two because I need to show you an attack. Why? Because the Kismet allows us to function as an IDS. The Kismet can give us an alert in case someone is attacking us in the network, or at least in the near networks where we are, because the Kismet is going to be able to show us an alert saying, look, someone has just made an alteration in the Mac of X access point, and then it's going to give you an alert. It is very useful then. We can do audits and try to determine if suddenly someone is attacking our wireless networks in the same way that Kismet is going to give us a huge amount of information about the surrounding networks. So well, to give you an idea of the environment, I have two network cards placed in monitor mode. Remember that to place a network card in monitor mode, we will have to use Airmon minus NG. Start and the network card that we want to place in monitor mode. We have already talked about this. I have other videos where I explain WPA WPA2 audit, so I don't think you will have a problem. Knowing this, I recommend that you see the videos on my channel because many people write me, what is the video where you have such a thing? I don't remember. I don't know. Because look, I have 206 videos on the channel. I think more or less. I don't remember each one of the names of what I did. I do remember that there is one with a certain name. And the truth is that I am the one who does the editing of the videos, etc. I don't have anyone to help me, so it's not so easy for me. Let's say to make the decorations that other people do, that put the pretty little card, that put... No, not really. I focus on what I can show you, on explain, try to explain, in the best possible way. The things. And that's as far as I can go. Unfortunately. So no way. Then look. So we put the network card in monitor mode. You see. Then... Then, already, validating with IW config, we see that both are in monitor mode. In fact, monitor mode and monitor mode is as if it were a promiscuous mode. But in wireless networks is not the same. But let's say it is the similarity, if you need to understand better, etc. I'm thinking of doing a live in a few days, so I'll let you know. Well, Kismet comes by default in Kali. The latest version of Kismet is a tool that comes graphical already. Let's see. Let me a moment. Let me look for Kismet. You can search for Kismet. Even Kismet Kali, you will find it. And well, in Kali tools, you will find that it was, it was always graphical. What I meant is that now it is web interface. Really is what I meant. This is the latest version, the 202202R1. And it's very, very good actually. Although, well, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm just going to say it here. Pseudo. Kismet. Pseudo Kismet. Enter. And Kismet loads. Kismet is going to tell us that we should visit localhost. Port 2501 to be able to access the web interface. Then I'm simply going to say, right click, open the link. And it should open the link in a browser. There it is. Perfect. You see. So now we have to tell Kismet. What is the origin of the information? Where are the antennas that it's going to use? Kismet is wonderful because it allows you, for example, to listen to Bluetooth BLE traffic. Bluetooth low emission. Low energy. Sorry, Bluetooth low energy. Then allows us to do that if we have the antenna connected at some point. If that sounds interesting to you, well, leave me a comment saying, look, we'd like to see Kismet with Bluetooth or Kismet mounted for, for example, a Raspberry Pi. I have many videos in my head one of them is, put a Raspberry Pi as a pen testing tool, ready for everything. But obviously, we are going to have to make several videos, because there are many things to do. But, but well, the important thing here, is that in data source, we can choose from where we are going to choose the source of information. As you can see, it detects the two network cards in monitor mode. If you have not put the network card in monitor mode, it will not detect it. Well, or it detects it, and it doesn't work, it captures absolutely nothing. So look, this would be for Bluetooth, but we are going to use the WLAN 0. This 
to capture the network traffic of the networks. So I'm going to say enable source. So look here, it already tells us that the WLAN 0, look back, it's already capturing information. The WLAN 0 is already working. So well, look, here we see the different network parameters. So well, I'm going to take the first one, I do not remember, which is the one, well, easier this way. Look, I'm going to tell that, organize me by signal strength. Then the highest ones must be the networks I have around here. Of mine, I have several. So for example, I'm going to take, I don't know, this one. I'm going to click on it. So look, shows us a little bit of the information of the network. And it is very interesting because it allows you to see well in detail what is happening. It is the frequency in which it is working. As you can see, 5.1 gigahertz, normal. Well, almost. We're almost always going to find 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, right? Then the signal strength. Here we can see the amount of packets it is trafficking. And here you have information complete about what is happening in that specific network. So, well, it tells us, for example, if the SSID is is visible and it tells us it is not cloaked, it is hidden. In another video, I also explained how to do the decloaking of a hidden SSID with a single packet. We managed to bring it. Look for the video where I show how to attack WPA, how to audit so well. Here we see a little of the types of packets. Remember, then wireless networks, there are different types of traffic. I have a conference that I edited, I think it was for the EXE, where I explained in detail the type of wireless packets. But well, there are some that are management and others that are data. See, others are retry packets, others are fragmented traffic. Well, the management packets usually have information about the network, the SSIDs, that kind of thing. So look, here you can see most of the packets. Well, they are management, and you see what is cloak. Here you can even do graphing or see graphs, if any, of traffic. If we could see the traffic, well, which network card of ours saw it? And well, debugging information if feasible. Then it even allows us to see JSON information. But well, this part is really interesting. But let's go back here. So as you can see, you have all the necessary information about a network. Now then, you may say, but what is all this that you are showing me? What is it for? So what can we do? Sometimes we do audits where there are many wireless network environments, many at the same time. So what can we do? Well, we could go, for example, to alerts, or we could go to SSID, which is even more interesting. So I'm going to organize, and I'm going to look for the network that belongs to us, which is attack me if you can, this one. Then look here, we can see, for example, if there are clients connected, we can see information of the max. We are going to connect a device. We are going to connect one of these devices to the network, and you're going to you are going to be able to see a little at the moment that this machine, look, already here, it's going to show us in, wait, is going to show us, let me deactivate the network card. I will activate it again. When I am negotiating, look, when I am negotiating the connection, this one has already connected. Let's see. It has already connected. It's taking a moment. Let's go to activate it again. Well, here we can see the antennas of the of each one of the access points. Interesting. It's not dialing me. Let me let's go to devices and see if we can see it. Let's go to the SSIDs and here it should show me. In a moment, I hope it should show me the different clients connected to the network. I'm going to connect. In fact, also the cell phone. Let's see. I'm going to connect it. Done. Well, and look, there it is showing probing devices. When you connect a device to the network, well, normally it will show you the devices that are connecting, and it will show them as probing devices. Then you will be able to see that there is a new device connecting to that network. There it is, probing devices. Then, what is... Kismet for? It is useful to see all the wireless networks that are at a given time in our environment. And apart from that, it serves as a wireless IDS. Why? Look, 
here we have some alerts. Here, simply tells me that Kismet is running as root, that it is less secure. Perfect done. Look, that there is a single alert. Look what is going to happen now. I am going here. And I'm going to use, for example, the Wi-Fi that already I made a video for them. Very, very recently about the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi. And we are going to use it with the network interface 1, the other network card that we have connected. For what? To generate an attack on a specific network. So look, it's going to look for the networks that are there. I'm going to give control C at once so that will allow me to attack our network, which is attack me if you can, network three. Then I'm going to tell him three here. Then look, he's going to start doing an attack in about one min, 56 seconds. He's going to begin the attack to try to de-authenticate these devices that I have connected to the network. Then what happens? You will see that the Kismet is going to detect that malicious activity within the network. Look here, let's see. Look, it already detected. If you notice here, it detects, well, this is an alert that there is a client that does not support a type of frame protection. Okay. Okay, it's basically giving us an alert that one of the networks does not support management frame protection to the security technologies that we can use, but not yet. The attack has been generated. Let's give it a moment so that the attack is generated, the attack. I feel like pausing the video, but let's see. Let's let it continue running. Let's see. Is missing 53 seconds to generate the de-authentication. Of PMKID, I told them that I created a video of PMKID in the channel. Yes, I had it, but they took it away. So now it is only in my Patreon. There you would have to enter to the Patreon to see it. Nothing we can do. But, well, let's see. It almost does the de-authentication. In fact, okay, for some reason it was already disconnected. Attack me if you can. I am connected. Attack me if you can. And I'm connected. Let's see. Attack me if you can here. Very good. Let's see if it generates any alerts. Here you can see the traffic. It tells us everything that is capturing at a given time of packets. Here you can see the duplicate packets. Q, C, dropped packets if there are any. Here we can see in devices the intensity. We can organize by any of these columns to be able to gather more information. Any of these columns is viable to be able to organize by the number of packets or the amount of data, sorry, or by the channel you are using and so on. And well, you saw that when a network is protected, etc. Well, it tells us that the network is protected. Look, there's already an alert here. Alerts have already been generated. Look, here is of deauthentication or disassociation of all the clients. See, here it gives us the alert that a deauthentication alert is generated. Of course, the Wi-Fi that we have running here. Generated the authentication alert. Look, here it de-authenticated the two devices and detected them. See, already detected them at once and at the same time, the Kismet detected the attack and gives us the alert so that we know that something bad is happening. That a malicious activity that we can see here, simply well possible denial of service. See, there it tells us look of authentication again, detects each one of the attacks that are being generated. If you see of authentication or disassociation of all the clients, there we can see each one of the alerts that are being generated thanks to the attack that we are doing with the other attack that we are doing with the other one, the attack that we are performing with the other tool. So as you can see, Kismet is an extremely useful tool at the wireless level that allows us to gather a lot of information, a lot of detail about clients, about connections within the same network. Look here already. We can see a little more traffic as it has already traveled more. As we have let it run longer than look, as we enter the network, attack me if you can. We can see, for example, that the access point that I have is alpha. It is an alpha. I have shown it in some opportunities. The channel that it is using. The frequency. The distribution of packets by each one of the frequencies. Here we can see the detail of each one. The signal. The signal strength. The amount of traffic packets that are data and the amount of traffic that are management. There we can see 
all the information in detail of the network. Look, the SSID, information of the SSID, associated clients. Look, in fact, there are three clients associated to that access point at this moment in my network. I don't know what other device I have that connected to that network. There, you can see each one of the devices in a graphical way, in a quite comfortable way. Really, for to be able to understand a little more about wireless networks and that we can diagnose, that we can detect if something bad is happening. You see? Then, because it is a supremely interesting tool, the invitation is to try it. And it is one more in our arsenal, especially at the defensive level. Because look, it allows you to detect attacks that are generated with normal tools such as, for example, the case of Wi-Fi T or any other tool that normally is used for attacks in wireless networks. So well, I hope that, as always you found it interesting, is what I always hope. And, well, thank you very much for your time. And as always, take care, stay healthy, and never stop learning. See you.